This is the first of a three-part video course that will walk you through the basics of a project in Assistance PSA. It is the very next step following the completion of your blueprint and a prerequisite to the timesheet tutorial. This tutorial will focus on the creation of a project. Navigate to the Project module of Assistance PSA. Click Projects and hit the New button. Your first step when creating a project is to link it to an opportunity. Click the Look Up button. In the new window, you will find the list of opportunities from the CRM Sales module. Select the one that generated this project. Click OK. You have now connected this opportunity to your project. Both elements will now reference each other when performing data analysis. If no opportunity initiated this project, simply leave the field blank. The project name is a mandatory field. By default, PSA will copy here the name of the opportunity. You can change the description if need be. In this example, we will leave it as is. The number field will be automatically generated by PSA once you save your data. It is based on the settings of your organization and cannot be overwritten. Go to the next field and select a project type. You will recognize here the values that you have created in the PSA tables. Check Software Implementation and click OK. Now select a project template. This field is mandatory and especially important as it will automatically create the breakdown structure of your project. You want to use your Sure Step template. Check the box and click OK. Now let's define the status of your project. Again you will recognize the values that you created in the PSA tables. Check In Progress and click OK. You can define a start and end date for your project. Note that these are information fields only. You can use them however for reporting or workflow purposes. If you set the internal field at yes, it will indicate that all the hours on this project are internal or non-billable. Specific reports can be generated with this parameter. In this example we will leave the option at no. The next two fields will allow you to indicate if the contract has been sent and signed. Check the Yes box for both. Finally, you can establish a price per mile and a distance specific to this project. When doing your timesheet, you will then be able to copy this default setting as an expense entry. In this example, we will leave both fields blank. In the next section, you will define the internal properties of the project. The business unit will be used for financial integration with the accounts receivable of your financial backend system. Selecting a team here will allow you to create workflows, informing the different members of this new assignment, for example. You can also link your project to a supervisor, which will give you an additional parameter with regards to reporting. If you have set up your organization with project management approval, you will need to assign a project manager here. This person will be responsible for approving the hours and expenses of the project. Consequently, you will need to give the individual specific rights, as well as set his or her PSA user accordingly. If you have also set up your organization with invoice approval, you will need to assign an invoice approver to your project and this person will need specific rights with regards to invoices in order to approve them. Let's take a look now at the Accounts section. It will be automatically filled in if an opportunity has been linked to the project. You can, however, change the information displayed. There is no need to do so here. We will leave the field as is. Now, scroll down in order to display the financial overview of your project. At this point in time, no data has been entered in the project. There is no information to display here. This will change, however, as the project unfolds. Finally, notice the default price list field. 
If you select a price list here, it will automatically appear by default on any product items of your breakdown structure. You have completed the general information of your project. Save your data but remain in the same screen. Notice the number that has now been assigned to your project. Your next step is to define your project users. Go to the section Project Team and Rates. Click the Project Team box and hit the Add button. Now select the people who will need access to this project in order to book their time and expenses. Once you're done, click the Add button and then OK. Your project team is now completed. Note that you can come back at any given time during the project to add or withdraw people from this list. Now, let's click the box Project Rate. In Assistance PSA, you can create specific rates for your projects. These rates will overrule any standard rates defined in the PSA tables. Hit the Add New button. PSA will bring you to the Hourly Rate screen, the same actually as in the PSA tables, providing you with the same flexibility of creating an hourly rate structure per hour type, employee, or a combination of both. You want to create a project rate specific to the hour type BI Consultant. By default, your project is already displayed in the first field. Go to the next field and click the Look Up button. Select your hour type and click OK. Now enter a selling price. Your project rate is now completed. Click Save and New in order to create a second one. This time your project rate will be specific to the hour type consultant for the employee Holly Holt. As with the previous rate, you only want to define a selling price here. Once you're done, save and close the window. You have completed the creation of two specific rates for this project. From now on, whenever a team member books time towards this project using the hour type BI consultant, PSA will apply a selling rate of $165 per hour. As for Holly Holt, whenever she books time to this project with the hour type consultant, PSA will apply a selling rate of $150 per hour. In both cases, PSA will apply the standard rates defined in the PSA tables for the cost and transfer prices of the entries. For more details with regards to the rates hierarchy in PSA, please refer to the tutorial Blueprint Hour Types and Hourly Rates. Let's take a look now at the item section of your project. This is the heart of your project. It is where you will find your breakdown structure, as defined in your project template, with the different phases and items of your project. It is also where you will create your estimate, determine the percentage of completion of your items, as well as define your milestones through project activities. Best practice is to complete the item section when creating a project. However, it is not mandatory. Provided that your project items are active, you can already start booking time and expenses now. All your parameters have been saved. You can go ahead and close the project window. You have now completed the creation of a project. Your next step is to do the exercises defined in the lab projects of Assistance PSA.